Well, when uh, when a person comes to you initially, from, you know, exploring the idea and exploring the idea for getting help from you, is there a question that you always ask? What's your favorite question to ask? Uh, you know, somebody who's come to you for funding, uh, whether you fund them or not, is a different question. But what's your favorite first question uh, that you ask, and what is the last question that you once again check before you decide to go ahead and partner with them? I wish I had a script like that. I don't. I'm more of a listener. You know, I want to hear the founder. I want to just really be in an active listening mode. If there are questions, it's because I'm not understanding what their product is. Okay. So, and too much time has gone by and they're not focused on the product. So I want to course correct them to uh, talk about the product because first to me, I have to connect into their vision and connecting to the product too often they want to talk about this is a 20 billion dollar market i mean i couldn't care less i mean we have zero revenue right now right so if it's a 20 billion dollar market you have no focus right because you can't chase a 20 billion dollar market right like saying e-commerce will be you know 100 billion dollar market so be it but what are you going to do in that right tell me how you're going to get to you know 10 million revenue and then 100 million revenue in the next five years i'd be thrilled and happy you should be thrilled and happy so the 100 billion dollar market is irrelevant to our conversation so sometimes too much time goes by and we are still not understanding what is that unique insight what is that vision of the product so if i ask questions it is really uh, uh, you know, I'm not satisfied till I understand what the product is. And if we spend enough time and I can't get the articulation of the product, then I'm actually don't pursue that um, uh, investment. So uh, there isn't a first question or a last question uh, uh, that way, right? That's kind of the, you know, uh, tick. Uh, it is a, uh, you know, a lot of uh, small things. Mm sometimes you may be pushing them to get this clarity on the product and they get very irritated or they get very defensive and you know um, uh, about it and uh, you know i know that we are not going to be successful in a board meeting challenging the uh, founder challenging is not in a bad way challenging so that you do better you know you do i mean if you have a sports coach uh, or a personal trainer they're supposed to challenge you they're not supposed to just stand there and be a cheerleader they do that too but there is you know you shouldn't get a board member who can't challenge you and push you to your next level of thinking and next level of being you know and um, uh, you, you know sometimes uh, people say oh how can i have a good board meeting to me a good board meeting is where we have argued a lot okay which means that there is things to discuss and it's not about everybody agreeing and uh, not that we need to have disagreement that's not what i'm saying but you know there has to be enough high quality debate and discussion are we able to do that so can you know sometimes in the interaction you discover that it is not possible to have a high quality debate and discussion with the founder and that then is not interesting to me because we are going to clash a lot uh, you know later so there isn't a first or a second question but i think generally when we meet founders uh, you know I, I at least tend to be in a in an active listening mode uh, to pick up what is the differentiation, what are they emphasizing, what is their focus, uh, and so forth.